everyone welcome to week eight of get out get active so uh, this week we're going to do a workout for basketball so uh, this workout is going to involve intervals and uh, you're going to need four pylons and so uh, you can see I got them set up in a T pattern here to start so there's going to be some agility and some plyometrics and uh, hopefully we have some fun along the way uh, it's a hot one, scorcher, uh, about 40 degrees with the Humidex, so um, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to be sweating, that's for sure. So um, let's get started on our warm-up, starting with leg swings. So just swing your leg forward and back like this. I'm going to try and yell into the camera. My uh, headphones don't like to pick it up from that far away. So let's switch sides here. Forward, back, try and keep your balance. If you have a fence, you can use it. And we'll go lateral leg swings too. So forward, or uh, side to side. So you can have your hands on your hips and you're swinging back and forth, back and forth. And switch sides. Same thing. We're just trying to open up the hips here. And again, if you have a fence or a wall, it works much better than trying to stand and balance on one foot. All right, so next one we're going to go into uh, karaoke. So you're going to just go side to side, crossing over top. some lateral movement in. Good. One more back and forth. And then we're going to get into leg sweeps. So what that means is you're just going to sweep forward, stretch out your hamstrings, walk, sweep forward, sweep forward, hinge, sweep forward. And we're just going to continue. Good job everyone, keep going, we got a few more, and high knees, so we'll start with a march, just driving the knees up, keeping the toes pointed up, so don't let them point down like this, so from the side, you don't want that, you want this, so toes, toes point towards the shins, and then we can go into a bit of a jog here. And we can finish with a run. Nice upright posture. Great job. And we'll finish with monster walks. So that's side to side, crunch position. Pushing out from your heels. Stay in a quarter squat or a half squat. Really just trying to activate the glutes a bit. You can also do it from a standing position where it looks more like this instead. All right, let's get right into our workout. So we're gonna start with the T-drill. So T-drill, we're gonna go from the front pylon to the middle, shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right, back to the middle, and reverse back. So let's get going. back like that. So let's get going. And we can relax. So that was a nice quick set there. We're going to do this three times so we're going to get going much faster on the second and third sets. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. Breathe in between. Five seconds, we're gonna get going again. Three, two, one, go.
and relax. Catch your breath. I'm going to be getting a lot of drinks of water today. So try and stay low. Try and go quick. We're trying to work on our agility and footwork. We got five seconds. Last round of the T drill coming up. And go. And relax. Great job, everyone. Next one's vertical jumps. So uh, this is really important for uh, obviously your jump shot, blocking a basketball, uh, doing layups. So uh, work on jumping upwards rather than horizontally. And we'll get going in five. Jump up as high as you can, land soft. Take your time, gather, and repeat. Try and be dynamic and powerful. Use your arms to help guide your upper body. Get it in sync. One more. And relax. Great job, everyone. So that's what it looks like in a gym. Now uh, let's apply it to basketball. So act like you're shooting a jump shot for this next round. Let's make it kind of fun. <clears throat> so we have 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So dribble, up, shoot. Release your imaginary ball at the top of your shot and relax. Catch your breath. We got one more vertical jump, then we're going to go into three point sprints. Five seconds, so you can go back to your jumps, or you can do a jump shot, or you can do what I'm gonna do, try and block a shot. So, straight up, blocking it, just like you're playing volleyball, or you're in the key blocking it in basketball. So hands come up. You can even squat at it if you want. Job, everyone and relax so three-point sprints what we mean is you're gonna go from the front pylon to one of the corners sprint back go to the middle sprint back go to the opposite corner sprint back and we're just gonna repeat that pattern so one two three this is your three point so let's get ready and Go. 
and we can relax. Catch our breath and repeat. So our agility exercises, really good for playing defense in basketball and making cuts uh, to the hoop when you're on offense. Basketball involves a lot of change in direction, change in movement. So you're accelerating, decelerating, repeat. And go, round two. And relax. That's two rounds. I definitely find those agility exercises a lot harder than the plyometric ones, but to each his own. So we got one more three-point sprint, then we're gonna go into a horizontal jumps. So trying to jump horizontally, lateral, or like for distance rather than for height. And go. And relax. So as we go into horizontal jumps, really focus on the distance, still making sure that you land softly when you're doing this, and then take your time in between. So if you need that recovery, which I'm going to need, take it. So let's get ready. So jump, land, walk out, get ready, jump, land, walk out, and repeat. And relax. So the horizontal jumps really important for uh, layups and uh, any movement that you're going forward with. So layups, you're not just trying to jump upwards, you're trying to jump forwards a lot of the time. Uh, so that's where that skill comes in handy. Three seconds and we're going to go again. Ready, and go. Went a bit over time there. So that's two of three rounds of the horizontal jumps. Then we're going to switch our pylons into a four corner, so you're going to create a box. Three, two, one. And we can 
finish there. Take a break, grab a breather, and then let's make a box. make as best of a square as you can and we're going to go from the middle and jump and go to the corner so it's going to look like this let's get going so corner other corner back to middle corner other corner back to middle so corner Good job everyone. Let's take a break there and catch our breath. So we got five seconds, then we're going to get going on round two. Get yourselves into position and left corner, bottom, top right, middle, bottom right, top left, middle, bottom left, top right, middle, bottom right, top left, middle, and I'm done. I guess I had a few extra seconds to spare, but I'm going to take it for rest. It's hot. So the goal of these, lots of change of direction, stay low to the ground, move quickly, try and touch your pylons so you're bending down, getting forward. You don't want to be upright when you're playing defense or making cuts. That makes you slow. Let's get going. So, bottom left, top right, middle, bottom right, top left, middle, bottom left, top right, middle, bottom right, top left, middle, and rest. Woo. So that's our three, four corners. We're going to move into vertical hops next. So going off of one leg. So jumps being two legs, hops being off of one. One leg for half, and then the other leg for half. Get ready, and hop, land, hop, land, hop, land. So we can land off of two feet if you need to. I'm kind of landing on my jumping leg, switch legs, and then my other leg's coming down afterwards just to keep balance. Really focusing on jumping upwards or hopping upwards as high as we can. One more. And relax. So you probably notice you're not getting nearly the same height you were when you were doing the jumps. That's normal. Not as much power and stability when we're on one leg. Ready and go. So hop one leg, switch halfway. Switch legs. So this is getting into the vertical portion of a layup. And 
and relax. Great job, everyone. Let's breathe. Relax, catch your breath. Then we'll go into our last round of these before we uh, move into our final agility drill, being the box shovel. So this time you can kind of practice your layup or your floater. So one leg, floater, one leg, floater. So I still want to focus on that upright. Vertical jump, switch sides. So if I'm jumping off my right leg, I'm shooting with my left. Last one. And relax. Great job, everyone. All right, so we got box shuffle next. So what we mean for that is you're going to... I'm going to face the screen, shuffle like I'm playing defense, I hit a pylon, I'm going to reverse pivot, face the inside of the box, shuffle, then pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle. So I'm always facing the inside. Let's get ready and go. So shuffle, pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle. Pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle, pivot, shuffle. And relax. Great job, everyone. So next round, let's go in the reverse direction. So I went uh, clockwise, I'm going to go counterclockwise, depending on what you did, do the opposite. Five seconds, three, two, one, go. Going. Ten seconds. Now we can relax. Alright, so last round, we're going to go around one way, then switch directions, go around the other way. <laughs> so let's Go in 10 seconds here. And go. Great job, everyone. We're moving on to our last uh, station, being the horizontal hops. So instead of jumping upwards, we're going to make you jump forwards, but on one leg. So the lateral part of your layup. And we're going to get going in five. there. 
Great job, everyone. We got two rounds left. Then we'll go into our cool down. So catch your breath. Agility exercises really get your heart rate going. The plyo exercises are really tough on your legs, so it's a lot of power. Um, a lot of sprinting, so these are uh, challenging workouts. Three, two, one, go. So, up. Up. Take a breather. We got one more round. Yes. And then cool down. Let's breathe, relax. 10 seconds. Done. Good job. All right. So we'll move into our cool down to finish up. We got 20 seconds before we get going into it. So we're going to start with a quad stretch. So if you need a wall to help balance yourself, use it. It's five seconds. And so grab your leg, balance, pull it underneath, keep the knee underneath, nice and tall. Feel the stretch down the front of your thigh. Switch sides. Good job. Um, groin stretch is next, so a nice and wide stance. Lean to one side. Stretch your leg. Keep that leg straight. Switch sides. Try and keep your chest upright while you're doing it. So slowly a stretch, so if you have a wall you can go against it, if you don't, you can go into a kind of a uh, half lunge position, keep your legs straight, and then you can just bend your knee a little bit so you feel the stretch in the back of your lower leg, and we can do the same thing on the opposite side. So just leaning into it, getting your weight forward as you're going about. Now we can go into lizard. So, half kneel on the ground. You should feel a stretch in your hip flexor. And get nice and low here. And we can switch sides. Same thing. And then pigeon. 90 degrees with your front leg. Then we can go down on our forearms potentially. Switch sides. And 
And last one, lying hamstring stretch, lying on your back. Grab your leg, pull it straight up. Feel the stretch in the back of your hamstring, back of your leg. And switch sides. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the basketball workout and uh, get out, get active. Uh, it's a great program for getting outside, getting active, teaching you some uh, skills around sports and uh, teaching us some workouts to get you better at them. Um, for those that don't know where I am, I'm at uh, Waterford Park, which is right off of Fruitland. Uh, it's a great basketball court if uh, you're ever looking to play. And uh, hope you enjoyed the program. Uh, talk to you next time.